Keith, Infinite Waters diving deep once again. Shout out to all of you wonderful deep divers. Another beautiful day. I woke up like this all magical and fly. Let's breathe. That's beautiful. Let's go. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. So, I want to talk to you today, deep divers, about the dark side of being a highly awake person. We're going to talk about the dark side of being a highly awake person. If you are someone who is highly awake, you're like, gosh, why didn't anyone tell me about the dark side? The dark side is not always bad. In fact, it's beautiful. It's liberating, but it is a dark side. And I've been on this journey a little while and I'm so thankful that there's a dark side like this. We're gonna talk about it and how it can actually help us become our greatest version. I want everyone to smash that like button right now if you support the real. Once again, smash that like button right now if you support the real because we got a whole lot to talk about. The cat down the road is ready for this one. Let's go. Did we raise the frequency? Raising the frequency. Now we did. Raising the vibration. Take that, take that, take that. Good ass energy I'm sending you. Look, if you are watching this video, this is your confirmation, deep divers. All that's meant for you is already aligning for you. Trust the process today. Now, the dark side of being a highly awake person. There are so many people right now on the planet who are waking up, who are going through their monumental awakening. And truth be told, that's everyone's destiny. Being a human being, a spiritual being in a human body, it's all of our destinies to really wake up and become our greatest version. But there's also a dark side to becoming your greatest version, a dark side to being highly awake. Especially in a world, especially in a world where a lot of people are fast asleep. Are you ready to dive into this, deep divers? I thought so. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> so wonderful, deep divers. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Let's talk about the dark side of being a highly awake person. Now, first and foremost, what happens when you start to wake up? What happens when you go through your transformation, your awakening? All of a sudden, not only do you hold yourself to a different standard to other people, but people also hold you to a higher standard than other people. Like sometimes people expect you to be a saint. You know, when I think back on my early videos, Deep Divers, all I used to say was just, I just used to say, Peace, and I'm still saying that. And some people thought I was like a Tibetan monk. People thought I was Yoda. I'm like, no, I'm still a human being. And the dark side of being a highly awake person, even though you're highly awake, sometimes people, they want you to be perfect all the time. I'm not Jesus Christ. Deep divers, I'm infinite waters. <laughs> and you know what I realized? This is the beautiful part of it. That you didn't come here to be perfect. You came here to be real. Mmm, slow. Mm. I got 50% namaste, 50% fuck out of my face. <laughs> I got 50% Deepak, 50% Tupac. <laughs> Deep dive is the dark side of being a highly awake person. Now, a lot of people who are highly awake, they know too much. They see too much. They hear too much. And sometimes you're always on this quest to find out the truth. You're always going down the rabbit hole because you realize you can't trust anything in the matrix. And therefore, sometimes you have sleepless nights, sleepless nights because you're like, gosh, I want to find this truth. 
I want to know it. I want to know the truth. I've got to do my own research, right? You're doing all of that because you know you can't trust the mainstream narrative. You can't trust the mainstream narrative. So you're doing your own research. And sometimes this can cause a lot of people to suffer burnout, anxiety, depression when you find out what the real... Well, when you find out what the world is really about, sometimes people get depressed along their journey. And the beauty of this is when you remind yourself that it's all about balance, right? Because you see, the true answers don't lie out there. They lie inside here. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. And I realize that actually I don't have to search for the truth out there. It's already inside of me, okay? The dark side, and remind yourself, deep divers, dark is not bad. The shadow is not bad. In fact, it is our salvation. The dark side of being highly awake. What else? Many people who are highly awake sometimes feel lost. They feel like people don't understand them, especially friends and family, because it's like they're in a whole another dimension. Okay, and many people who are highly awake, sometimes they have to carve out their own path. And sometimes they're not supported. Sometimes they're rolling solo. That was me along my early journey. I realized, oh my gosh, people don't get me. So I got to get myself. <laughs> not everyone is going to support you because you say, hey, I want to be in 5D doing a little samba, baby. Right? <laughs> but the beauty of this is that it teaches you how to be strong. It teaches you to realize we are never alone unless we abandon ourselves. And many people who are highly awake who realize that actually it's a beautiful journey because along the way, the universe sends the right people at the right time to help you along the way. Deep divers, the dark side of being a highly awake person, okay? Many people who are highly awake need darkness. You know why? Because illumination requires darkness. You're on this journey, magnificent journey, to become illuminated, to become your greatest version. You're going to the next level. Well, you need darkness. It's a prerequisite for illumination. You see, deep divers, the beauty of this is that in our darkest moments, we actually become illuminated. It happened to me along my journey. When I was waking up, I was going through breakdowns full of anxiety, all kind of things happening to me. But I realized that was, that's what was needed for me to become illuminated. Okay, the stars are only shining because of the darkness. So many people who are highly awake, sometimes you're going to go through your worst moments your worst times, but you're gonna come out, come out of the other side shining, being that superstar that you are. But you're gonna to need to go through the grind, the darkness, the all of that to come out shining. Shine bright like a diamond, deep divers. The dark side of being a highly awake person. You see, a lot of people on this journey who are waking up, who are finding out who they really are, Sometimes they become totally unrecognizable. People are like, who the hell is that guy? I can't remember who he is. I can't remember who she is. Because you're elevating. Right? You're not who you used to be because you realize that was a trap. And now you're stepping into the greater part of who you are. And sometimes the dark side of this is that sometimes you become totally unrecognizable people don't recognize you anymore because your energy is different it's higher higher frequency higher vibration you don't look the same you're taking care of yourself and this is the reason why that some people struggle with this awakening because they're like oh my gosh it's like i'm moving away from certain people because i'm also elevating i'm becoming unrecognizable and the beauty of this is that you have to embrace who you are becoming, not who you used to be. You see, I wrote down many years ago, Deep Divers, once you have tasted infinity, you will never go back to the old ways. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Once you have entered new earth, you will never go back to the matrix. And this is the reason why the dark side of 
being a highly awake person is that you're letting it all go. You're letting the old ways go and you're entering a whole new paradigm, a whole new frontier, boldly going where no man or woman or even cat down the road has gone before. Congratulations, deep divers, the dark side of being a highly awake person. Okay, so when you remind yourself, deep divers, a normal life is boring. For a lot of highly awake people, they don't want it anymore. They can't just be in a regular, normal job. Because their soul is craving more. Even though it's paying well. Even though you got picked out of like 500 people, you know a bit too much. And you want to be free. A lot of people who are highly awake, the goal is all about freedom. Because they realize those are the wealthiest, those are the wealthiest people, the most free people, right? And therefore, your whole family, friends could be saying, hey, just stay there, even though it's not making you happy. And you're like, actually, I don't want to stay there. And they're looking at you like, giving you that fluoride stare, like, what are you doing? Right? So a lot of highly awake people battle with this, that even though they may be working somewhere and it's very so-called illustrious and they beat so many people to get the job, but their soul is now craving more. And the beauty of this is that you can have more. Look at me. I was doing the regular Matrix job, then I said, wait a second, wait a second, screw this, I'm going to Thailand. Rest is history. <laughs> Deep Dive is the dark side of being a highly awake person. Let's talk about it. You just want to be in nature all the time. Sometimes you, you're like, nature has adopted me. And sometimes it's hard for you to come back into regular society. Sometimes people who are highly awake, they go so far off into new earth that the old earth just seems pointless to be in, right? Is that you deep divers? Are you always in the heart of nature like Ralph Smart? And you're like, gosh, I've even, I've even forgotten the rules of nature and I've even forgotten the rules of the matrix and society and all of that stuff. <laughs> That's what can happen. And, and the beauty of it is that you have to find a balance. You have to find an in-between. You have to realize that you can be in the world, but not off the world. I like that. Deep dive is the dark side of being a highly awake person. Look, many people who are highly awake, they shock people. They leave people flabbergasted. They make sure that they're not biting their tongue, holding their lip. They're letting it all out. They're spilling the tea, spilling the beans. And this can be a dark side of being a highly awake person. The reason why is because you're going to tell it how it is. You're not going to sugarcoat it. And I know being a highly awake person myself, a being, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. Deep divers, I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. And sometimes it may not win the popular vote. Well, I don't care. The dark side, baby. See how beautiful it is? Because you've got this freedom of expression. You're not afraid of telling people the unpleasant truth. You see, in this world, you have people queuing up for comfortable lies. But the real ones are queuing up for unpleasant truths because they know that the truth shall set you free deep dive is the dark side of being a highly awake person look once you've shocked people you're all about leaving the world behind leaving the world behind letting it all go and many people who are highly awake they enter the wilderness they enter the wilderness, they spend some time alone, they really lose themselves and they find themselves again and then they lose themselves and they find themselves again and they experience being alone and then it can be scary at first. It happened to me along my journey. Then I realized actually 
the beauty of it is that once again we are never alone unless we abandon ourselves but by me spending time in the wilderness i really found out who i really am and when you are awakening the dark side is that you're going to have to spend some time alone you're going to have to go into the wilderness you're going to have to fast for 40 days and 40 nights and find out who you really are and then everything is going to be fantastic deep dive is the dark side of being a highly awake person so you can no longer pretend and this is the thing when you're highly awake it doesn't mean that you're feeling nothing sometimes you still want to go back to your old life but you can't because you're like gosh i got a responsibility now i know i can no longer pretend that i don't know and a lot of highly awake people are dealing with this they're like actually i can't just go back to my regular way of living because now i know a lot and i would rather talk about the truth than just be clubbed to death right that's why why they call it a club deep divers never mind <laughs> the dark side of being a highly awake person you realize that even when you watch the news if you ever do it's all full of lies and and you know they're lying and you realize that the whole world is a stage and sometimes you want to tell your friends and family and they just don't understand you so a lot of highly awake people can be misunderstood because they know the truth more than most people once again deep divers the dark side is not a negative thing in fact it's a liberating thing in our darkest moments we become illuminated and the way to really find out who you truly are is to be immersed in darkness and then come out shining on the other side and then you'll just say feel so good to be alive baby can i get a hello <laughs> i want everyone to smash that like button right now if you support the real share this video as well once again smash that like button right now if you support the real share this video subscribe because we just dive deep and let's go <sighs> Woo! breathing in that good ass prana baby go and check out the number one best-selling book deep divers feel alive by ralph smart on amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book the bible of becoming your greatest version and get ready for feel alive part two deep divers you're gonna love the new book oh my gosh check out the latest new book the book of 11 11 infinite quotes by ralph smart at ralphsmart.com slash the book the secret recipe to becoming your greatest version and go and get the good ass prana shirts deep divers for men women children even cats down the road at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in america the dark side of being a highly awake person is about realizing the dark side is a way to the truth many people are afraid of the dark Highly awake people know that actually, when we embrace our shadow, there is nothing to be afraid of. Mm. Slow motion. Mm. And a lot of highly awake people have to face their shadow. You know, most people in this society, deep divers, they're running away from who they really are. They're running away from their shadow. But as you embark on this journey of self-awareness, because that's what it ultimately, that's what it ultimately is, you realize that you have to face your shadow and you have to integrate your shadow. And this is what a lot of highly awake people do that most people would never do. And most people will say, that's dark. And highly awake, highly awake people just say, that's beautiful. <laughs> dark and beautiful, deep divers. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, once again, deep divers, I want everyone to smash that like button right now if you support the real share this video subscribe once again smash that like button right now if you support the real share this video subscribe and leave a comment deep divers down below of gratitude and appreciation and let me know how this video inspired you one love peace